If you're going to use the Ethereum network and transfer funds or buy NFTs or mint NFTs, you're going to need to pay gas fees. You want to pay the smallest amount, especially using the MetaMask extension or app that you have installed in your phone, then you could just follow these quick little steps and you could lock in a lower price for gas. As you can see, these are the three amounts for gas. You have low, average, and high, and they're constantly fluctuating throughout the day. So I've claimed this NFT at fees.wtf, and this NFT is just being launched, but one of the things that it gives you is a utility token. So I need to claim this utility token, which I've already claimed the NFT. It's in my wallet, and I'll just pop it up right here. But if I want to claim this 552.779 WTFs, then every time that you interact with the blockchain, there's going to be some sort of fee, either small or big, and we want to make it as small as possible. So if I want to claim this WTF token, I can click claim. So when the MetaMask extension opens up my wallet, it shows that it's going to charge me roughly $61.05 in ETH at the highest for my gas price, but that's still high. So if I wanna just say, I want to do this transaction, but I'll only do it at a lower rate. So the price is roughly about 100 GUE right now. And so if I say, I only wanna pay 60 GUE, which has been the lower average of days that this has been going through, I can sit edit, edit suggested gas fee. And right now it's set to about 185 as a max gas fee. But if I want to say I only want to pay a max of 60, I just say 60. And it, it warns me and says that the max gas fee is too low for network conditions. And I just say that's okay because that's not the conditions. I want to wait until the network conditions meet this. So I hit save. And that's it. It's not going to go through right away. I'm going to hit confirm. And now when I go back to my wallet, it just shows pending. If you open up the contract on Etherscan, you can see that it's still pending and that it will only go through with 60 GUE. And when the network conditions hit that 60 GUE, then the transaction will go through. And if it never does, then the transaction will never go through. So be sure that you're getting the best price on whatever transactions that you're doing on the Ethereum blockchain, whether it is minting an NFT, buying an NFT, selling an NFT, or just claiming something or transferring currency you want to have the lowest price and this is the way to do it if you're not subscribed yet be sure that you subscribe smash that like button watch one of these videos next and i will see you in the next one